familiar sound of the clarinet that echoes through every inch of New Orleans. We just heard it in the background. And I mean, just Pete, man, he, he was just, he was phenomenal, very phenomenal. It's the sound of the legendary Pete Fountain, who died Saturday from heart failure. Pete lived an amazing life and he lived a very full life and he gave us everything. I mean, when Pete performed, he gave you everything he had and he really took New Orleans music around the world. The sparkly blue eyes and, and that unique sound that came out of that clarinet, just it can't be replaced. Satchmo Summerfest has historically been dedicated to celebrating another one of New Orleans musical legends. Louis Armstrong. But this year, many jazz artists play tribute to Pete Fountain's music, saluting his memory through the sound of his song. I have fond memories of back in the 60s and coming down from Mississippi and visiting my family in New Orleans. And I know that that, that horn went, it, it was always <laughs> something that would, be, would, would, you knew it was Pete Fountain, okay? And he had a very distinct sound and he will be missed, I'm sure. It's truly the end of an era. I mean, they just don't make them like that anymore. Pete Fountain, like Louis Armstrong, he was a one of a kind. He was beloved. He was a household name. Everyone knew Pete Fountain. Younger generations are always listening to the older music because no matter what you're listening to, there's always a piece of them in everything that you listen to, whether it's jazz or vocals or whatever it is. So uh, the loss of him, uh, it's a great loss. But like I said earlier, leaving his legend for me and for generations to come, uh, all you have to do is just embrace his music and his sound. Natalie He, WDSU News.